You've probably seen Git complain about a detached head before, but what does that mean? Let's first make sure we fully understand what head means, and then we'll look at the detached head. Normally, when you're using Git, you're working on a specific branch, maybe the main branch or a feature branch, and in this case, head is just another name for the branch you have currently checked out. If we look inside the hidden.git folder, we can see a file called head. This file tells us which branch we've currently checked out. In this case, the main branch. When we switch branches, the file gets updated, and now head points at our feature branch. When we make changes and commit them, they are committed on top of the current branch, and the branch pointer and head move along with it. Now, what's a detached head? It's when we check out any of the older commits in the commit graph. For example, we could check out this commit here via its commit hash. This can be useful when you want to see what the state of the repo was at this point in time. For example, to figure out when a specific bug was introduced. We can see that the head file has changed and now points at that specific commit. Now, if you haven't made any changes to the code, you can just switch back to a branch and everything's great. But sometimes people accidentally make changes while in a detached head state and maybe even commit them. In that case, since you're not currently on a branch, that commit will just be created on top of the current detached head. We can see the commit in the commit graph here. Unfortunately, once we switch back to a branch, for example, the main branch, the commit disappears because it's not associated with a specific branch. And by default, most GUI tools only show commits that have been associated with a specific branch. The commit is not deleted though. So if you still know the commit hash, you can simply switch back to it, putting your repo in a detached head state again. If you don't know the commit hash anymore, it might still be possible to recover it using the git reflog command. Let me know down below if you'd like to see a full video on using git reflog to recover lost commits. In any case, since a detached commit is not associated with a branch, git may garbage collect or prune it automatically in the future. To prevent this from happening, we should just create a new branch for the new commit. This will also get us out of the detached head state. To do that, we just run the git branch command in the detached head state to create a new branch from the current commit. Now we just have a regular old branch to work with and we can switch to it to get out of the detached head state. We could now merge or rebase our newly created branch into the main branch, for example. If you'd like to understand the difference between merging and rebasing better, check out my full video here. I know that putting these Git tips into practice can be pretty challenging from watching videos alone, which is why I'm running new Git workshops really soon. I now offer workshops for all skill levels which are highly customized so you don't waste time on things you already know and can focus on what you actually want to learn. Go to my website philomatics.com slash git workshop to learn more. I really enjoy working with people personally, so I'd love to see you there. Have a great day and thanks for watching Philomatics.